Alright, how y'all doing me just like here? This is going to be the sneak up to 40 run. Uh, what's the sneak up to 40 run? What we're going to do is we are going to level up sneak to 40. Why do this? Because uh, leveling up sneak is the fastest and most powerful way to get damage bonuses to both your one-handed weapons and uh, your bows. And you can do that by applying backstab, which will give you... Um, six times damage on your one-handed weapons if you do a sneak attack and getting deadly aim which will give you three times damage on your bows if you do a sneak attack okay so that's the fastest way to add bonus damage to your weapons okay and um, you can level up sneak to 40 quite fast if you know um, how to do it and I'm going to show you how to do it using um, well making a whole bunch of power potions what I like to call power potions okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna collect all the right ingredients then we're gonna make potions that level up our alchemy and uh, make a lot of money at the same time that's what I call power potions okay and we're gonna eventually apply another perk into alchemist to make our potions 40% stronger all right so that's the deal with that we're gonna get alchemy almost up to 30 perhaps up to 30 we're gonna level up speech a lot and we're gonna level up uh, sneak to 40 all right, and then we're gonna get into some combat, okay? So this is gonna take about an hour and a half real time. Um, this is the next tutorial, this is what it's all about. It will contain very little combat, okay? Fair warning, very little combat. This is basically a series of business videos, okay? For those of you who are interested in, in this kind of thing, and I know a lot of you are, um, judging from the um, thumbs up and the comments on my previous Skyrim walkthrough, um, yeah, the business video's got the most thumbs up and the most comments. <laughs> so people want to know how to do this shit. So let's get to it. First thing I want to do is, uh, sometimes there's an elk across here. Yeah, there it is. See if they get a sneak attack on him. And I did. Won't be able to kill him, but I will drive him off in the direction of some wolves. And do I have this hotkey to three. No, I do not. Let's do that now. Get the mace happening because we're going to encounter some wolves. Click some more tapnel over here. Yum yum. Dislike call it. Dislike call it. Perhaps some more goodies over here. Where are you goodies? You? Got you? Got you? Okay. Let's go take on the wolves after I recharge my stamina. Tell you what, let's take, um... Actually, I might need these later on. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a tight squeeze. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah, no, this is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be tight, but if you follow everything I do, um, you should be able to pull it off. I've practiced this, I've practiced this three times in a row, and it works pretty good, this plan, all right? Okay, here, woofy, woofy, woofy. Here, boy. And don't worry if you get rock joint taking on these wolves. Usually there's a wolf up there. It's quite possible they chased after the elk, and if they took down the elk, that'd be great because um, that means they get a free elk pelt. Eh. No wolves. Don't know how you seem to go. You start recording, and all of a sudden everything goes haywire. Curveballs left and right. I can't even hear any wolves. Here's a wolf. Get down. Yeah, okay, got his attention. This isn't really part of the plan. But uh, I feel like fighting something just to start this run off. Come on, hurry and get your ass down here. Hurry up. Don't make me come up there. Okay, here we go. There we go. No, over here. Over here, Fido. Here, boy. Here, where the fuck did you go? Here we go. Oh, I'm out of stand. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Bad whoopee. Bad whoopee. <laughs> and he runs away. Where were you going? Oh, oh, oh. Here, here they come. 
bad, Whippy. There we go. Level up that. Bad doggy. Bad. Down you go. Give me the wolf pill. Where's your buddy? Oh yeah. Bad doggy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, there you go. A little bit of action for you guys. Okay, let's get right into it. Here's there's some um, more tapanella here sometimes on dead logs and whatnot. And I know there's some iron ore to mine over there. I'm going to get into mining and smelting and smithing later on in another series of videos. For now, this is the sneak up to 40 rent. Okay, so next on the agenda, collecting... Um, we're approaching the hunting brew meadery. We're going to collect a whole bunch of lavender around there, okay? Lavender is very integral to our power potion making. I see some more of Tapanella. And when I level up, I'm going to put everything into stamina once again, because as you can see, my stamina's run out, and I can't stand when that happens. I'm going to put away my weapon here. Um, I just want to check my active effects to see if I got diseased by the wolves. No, I did not. That's good. Okay, let's get to some uh, foraging. And a little bit of running around. Yum, yum. Whole bunch of lavender to be had around the hunting brew meadery. There's a hunting brew meadery there, okay? Can collect at least five. All around this area, actually. Collecting all these flowers. All these flowers are very important here. Purple mountain flowers, red mountain flowers, and blue mountain flowers. All very important. These things make you tons of money. Don't dismiss them. As, you know... <laughs> some kind of, like, effeminate activity that only total geeks do. This stuff makes you a ton of money. And I'll show you exactly how to make a ton of money with each and every one of these ingredients that I'm collecting. Here's the hunting brew meadery. Lavender, let's look around the back. Click some. Did I get that? Got the butterfly wings. Got your wings. Haha. <laughs> Quickly! Uh, I think I went this over this before. Blue mountain flower, lavender, and wheat makes a good money making potion and a good leveling up potion, okay? Blue mountain flower, lavender, and wheat, alright? Another good money-making potion is Death Bell, Red Mountain Flower, and Salt Pile. These are all like, you know, everyone goes after like, you know, Giant's Toe and stuff like that. And Creep Cluster, the super big, heavy-duty money-making power potions. And they ignore like the, you know, the lesser power potions that, that really uh, can make you a lot of money. I mean, Giant's Toes are not that easy to come by, even for a good, like, you know, a good character, a good character build. Like, you know, it's going to take you a while to take down giants. And on top of which, there's just so many giants in the game. So it's not, you shouldn't rely on that, you know. It's fun to level up really quickly using giant still creep cluster and wheat. But there's so many other ingredients, uh, combinations that will make you a ton of money if you uh, don't ignore them, all right? So these are kind of like the medium level power potions that I'm describing here. We're going to use all those. We can all, all these ingredients can be collected very easily uh, right near the beginning of the game. No problem whatsoever. Right? So just uh, stick with slack and you won't get whacked. And I'm too fat to fuck already. Okay, so we got to drop something. Uh, I'm overloaded. Let's drop this war axe. You go down. Make room for some more flowers. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Okay, and what are we doing? We are working our way north from the hunting brew meadery, okay? Generally, in a northerly direction, we're going to head to the Chill Furrow Farm, which is where we're going to get some wheat. I'm just kind of like, you know, wandering over the, the landscape here because I know it pretty well. And collecting everything I can. Yum, yum. Okay, so here's the Chill Furrow Farm. Here is, I believe, seven wheat stacks we can collect, okay? 
just sitting there waiting. He has one, two, three, hi chicken. Make it quick. Four. Five. Six. And seven wheat. Bingo. Let's collect some eggs. Make an omelet later on. Push further north from the Chill Furrow Farm to the Battleborn Farm right there. And you can collect six more wheat. So that's 13 wheat right there. There we go, Battleborn Farm. And also collect or check all barrels. The ones that aren't empty, are not empty, of course. What you're looking for is salt piles, okay? Forget about the food. Well, I mean, you know, if you're a real role player, get into the food. I got into the food my first run. Here's more wheat. There should be six of them, two, three, four, five, and six. And a couple of chicken eggs. Watch where you step so you don't crush them. <laughs> and that's that. We could push a little further along the road here, collect uh, maybe a couple more lavender. There we go. Bingo. Some more blue mountain flower. And that is it. Already we have the makings of our for our first batch of power potions right now. Already. Let's take a look. Ingredients. 26 blue mountain flower, 16 lavender, and 13 wheat. So we can make 13 power potions right there and there. That's going to make us a lot of money. That's that. Tell you what, let's uh, pull the cheap trick. Fast travel back to the honeymoon honey brew meadery. Actually, no. Let's go back to this churl floor farm. <laughs> I know. Okay, and turn down towards the honey brew meadery. Look for the river. There's the river. Should be a Nurn route to collect there. I can see it glowing in there already. There already. <laughs> There's a giant. That giant is always at the Pelagia farm. Pull out your bow. And you may be able to get a couple of sneak shots on him. Level up your sneak. And I did. Unfortunately, this giant doesn't give up any loot. And these are the companions here. Let's just chat you it up with them. Yourself well. Oh, thank you. you. Make for a decent shield, brother. What's a shield, brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a waste of time to me. <laughs> Actually, they give you the same response whether you say, can I join you, or... Sounds like a waste of time. I just like saying sounds like a waste of time just to piss well, them off. Well, nobody asked you. <laughs> if you think you're better than we are, go talk to Codlac White Mane. See what a warrior of true metal is like. Ooh, la di da. <laughs> okay, so here we go. That's been added to our list of miscellaneous objectives. Let's check that out. Uh, miscellaneous. Speak with the leader of the companions. Can do that. We are going to do that. The companions quest line will later on, and. There we go. This giant gives Dick. Yes, that's right. His name is Dick. Dick Head. Yeah. So, yeah. It's too bad. Um, at this farm, Pelagia Farm, there's no wheat. So, there are some chicken eggs, though. Uphill. And some cabbages if you're into, like, making food. So, from here. Okay, so there's the Honeybrew Meteor. There's a couple farms there that we got the wheat from there. Okay. Um, we're there right now. And we're going to push up towards the White Run Stables, all right? Go along this road, collect all the Red Mountain Flower we can. Once again, Red Mountain Flower means lots of money. Death Bell, Red Mountain Flower, and Salt Pile. Good power potion. Tons of Red Mountain Flower around the White Run Stables. There we go, White Run Stables discovered. Okay, so now we can take a carriage to pretty much any major city in Skyrim. It's very important, and we're going to do that momentarily. So just grab a couple more flowers here. Done and done. And that's the end of this video. Um, 
join me next time when when we continue on into Mark Karth and do some business there and continue our sneak up to you look forty. Strong. Come to run, Oscar, and be a companion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, where do you want to go? I want to go to Mark Karth. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Yeah, all right. Yeah, if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, hey, don't forget to give the old slacker a thumbs up. Yeah. Ever been to Markarth? Well, I can't say Some that I have. Built by the dwarves. I don't <laughs> all right, ciao for now.